things change with Coach Cook. We usually just did one long build up to the outdoor season, and with Alberto, it's two like two twenty week cycles or so. Um, and so I think the biggest change is just that I'm stimulating I, my my body is getting stimulated more frequently. I have my two week break at the end of outdoors, um, which I had in whatever it was September or something. But then we get right back into training and we build up into it. Um, and uh, you know, I felt in in college with I would always do well through two peaks, and then I would just be really tired on the third. But I think having this extra stimulus um, has just helped me to maintain and build off of the fit fitness from outdoors, rather than kind of letting it go and then having to work back up into it. Has, had, has, was there anything that happened before you went to North Carolina that made you, I mean, in practice, time trials or whatever, that made you think that that 422 was, was coming? Um, my workouts went really well. Um, I I spent Christmas uh, with Pablo's family in Mexico, so we were at altitude there, and Pablo was helping me train. Um, and then I think coming back to, I was only there for a couple weeks, but I think that also just helped stimulate me. Um, and uh, and then got back to uh, Portland, and training was just going really well. I was accomplishing the workouts um, with more ease than I had in the past, and I was running even faster. Um, and we. Had a Seattle race workout scenario where I did a 1K and a mile, and I won both of those with a pretty good kick at the end. And so I knew that was a sign, like, you know, I figured going into JDL, if I could run a 427 after a 1K, I could at least run the world outdoor standard. So I was aiming for like 424 um, and was pretty pleased that I was able to run even quicker than that. Now, do you think training with Trainier, uh, Mary, and Jordan has really helped you uh, kind of step up? Yeah, for sure. I think I think having teammates um, to push me in workouts, um, but it's a positive, like, we, I feel like each of us brings a different strength to the table, and so we're able to challenge each other, but in a way that like it's benefiting the group as a whole. Um, and I think more than anything, just having a support network. I went from training pretty much independently in San Francisco, um, did a lot of work on my own, and now I have teammates, coach, assistant coach, weight coach, and uh, support psych support. So it's just like, you know, I went from feeling so independent to now so supported, and that's been really great for me. Last week, Mary said, you know, you can finish fourth here and run a really fast time because, you know, all four of you guys are running. Do you yeah. think that's the uh, the case? I think so. I mean, I know um, all four of us are on board with going with the pacer and going to see how fast we can run. So um, I think I think a lot of people could come out with personal bests, if not better, from this race on Saturday. Thank you, Jen. Yeah. Is there anything specific about Alberto's training that, you know, you spoke about you sort of stagnated for a yeah. Is there anything specific about his training? Well, his training, there's a, there are a lot of similarities to Coach Cook, um, but uh, one of the main differences is with Alberto, we don't train as often. Um, like, we have two hard workouts and a long run each week, and the other days are recovery and weights and things like that, but the workouts that we do are much harder, so with Coach Cook, I would say five days out of the week were kind of medium hard efforts, but the volume of a given workout was maybe at the most 5K versus with Alberto. When I do those workouts with him, it's maybe up to 8K of volume. Um, not always, sometimes it's less, but the intensity is a lot higher as well. So I think for where I was at in my training, it was a good change of um, change of stimulus to, you know, those hard days would last year they really it was too much for me to handle and I got kind of injured during the indoor season but during outdoors I was able to tolerate it better and now I'm able to do it um, like and sometimes exceed the workout goals so it's been just you know building step by step. So you ran both the 15 and the 5K uh, yeah. last year. So yeah. you, are you sort of gearing your training more specifically towards one of those hats this year? Not, not yet. Um, for the indoor season, we just set up indoor race schedule for ourselves, and the 15 and the three, or the mile and the 3K were ones that were kind of right um, in the middle of the training that we do because we do everything from top end speed to longer distance workouts. Um, for outdoors, I want to continue to go after the both the 15 and the 5k um i know if i could run sub four twice in outdoors um i know i'm i've got a pr in me so i'd like to go see how fast i can run in the 15 
And for the 5K, if I want to be a legitimate threat at a world level, I need to run a good 20 seconds faster. So I really need to go and just challenge myself and see what I'm capable of before before I make a decision, um, you know, for Rio the next year.